you must center your diet around starch, rice, corn, potatoes, as people always have, always have, always will. It's the human diet. You add some fruits and vegetables. Uh, you know, you can vary the amount here and there. If you want to eat animal foods, you know, they're not, they're not healthy. If you want to have candy bars on Halloween, fine. That's Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to have a piece of cake on your birthday, you'll, you'll survive it. But you can't do these things every day, all day long, which is yeah. what Americans do. Turkey yep. on Thanksgiving, that may be your choice. But you cannot have Thanksgiving every lunch and dinner. Yeah. Uh, and if you want your health back. And the other thing is, is, is I have to point out one more thing to your listeners. Sure. <clears throat> it's, it's much easier to do things 100%. Yeah. And so when I say you can have these things, if you're struggling to get your health in order, you can't have these things in the house. I can't have chocolate candy bars in my uh, pantry because I know what will happen to them. Yeah. Uh, so they just aren't brought in the house, uh, even though they're soy-based right, candy right. bars. You know, I, mean, yeah. I, I can't have these things in the house. So if you're really serious about change, you know, set your environment up for success and decide. You're just not going to do that. This is what I do. This is what I don't do. Don't give yourself uh, permission because once you give yourself permission, well, I'll just have a little bit of – a little bit becomes a lot, and you're back to where you were before. Right. So in terms of practical dietary change, anybody who's very serious, I would encourage you to be religious about it, uh, at least while you're getting started until you get your problem solved. It's not that a little bit will kill you. It's just that a little bit will take you off track. It's yeah. like a, a little bit of heroin for a heroin yeah. addict or a little alcohol for an alcoholic right. or you know a couple of cigarettes for a tobacco addict. It never works. Right. And likewise, if you decide, well, I'll – have a little of this and a little of that, you're probably in trouble. You're probably not going to solve it. Whereas if you take determination, you say, what I'm going to do is eat a diet like Dr. McDougal recommends. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say something here, and this may be a good way to close our, close our interview. Sure, sure. The, the, truth, the truth is simple and easy to understand. Any place you look in the world or throughout history, the truth is easy to under, uh, simple and easy to understand. The McDougal diet, is a starch-based diet with fruits and vegetables? That's one sentence. Sentence number two, the McDougal diet does not contain animal foods or pure oils, free oils, like olive oil, yeah. etc. That's it. Two sentences. Yeah. Simple, easy to understand. I believe it's the truth.